Previously on the Chronicles of Oz. Where is Ozma? Ozma disappeared decades ago. What makes you think I... Oh, just a hunch. I'm on a mission, Mombi. The truth will be found out. And she knows she can't. Nobody knew anything besides me and him. What the hell is that, Tim? It's a pumpkin head. I bought the pumpkin head to life. He lives. Holy Lolene, he lives. Don't yell like that. Look, you better come with me or she might do something to you too. We have to get as far away from here as possible. You I stole this for a reason. What's this? Powder of life. It's what Mombi used to bring you to life. And now I'm going to do the same thing to this sword. This is so exciting. <laughs> now we can really get moving. What's the point of being king if I have to stay in my palace every day? When do I get to do some actual ruling? Your Majesty, I only ask for some patience while we... I've been patient. I've been waiting and now I want to go and... Well, don't you want to be king? Not this week, no. I miss Dorothy and the rest of them. I know you do. I just wish I could... Well, I don't know. Have an adventure, I guess. March with me now to put Oz to rights. We'll take the Emerald City. We'll depose the Scarecrow King. And together, we will make Oz marvellous! You have to prepare yourself for a siege. The Emerald City has been invaded. Allow us access to the Royal Palace, and there will be no bloodshed. Then keep up, Hugo. We've got an Emerald City to save. What took you so long? Well, in case you hadn't noticed, you're a bit under siege in here. Because I have a crazy woman and her pet witch trying to take over my city. I've got news for you, Your Majesty. She has taken over your city. Why am I wasting my time with a useless wannabe witch? Wait, listen, please. I can still help you. Everything's okay, Tim Woodman, because I have an idea. It's a flying machine. It's a dead gum. It won't be dead for long. Not when I sprinkle it with powder of light. Uh, step back, pumpkin head. I, I think that it's about to... Nobody moves! Dad! Dad! Look out! The ginger's here! She's here! Over Adventure Productions presents The Chronicles of Oz. Marvelous Land of Oz, Episode 4. Run! Run, Jack! Keep running! Catch them, you fools! Ah, gotcha! Get off me! Abby, Abby. Oh, I got one! Get them all, you idiot! I want them all in custody! Especially the boy! Bring me Tim! Go, Jack! Warn the others! Forget about the stupid boy! Come on, my boy! Get off me! Jack, is that you? They got in, Dad. They got in. Ginger and a little boy soldiers. I thought you put a spell on the door. Well, so did I. I've locked the internal door, but it, it'll last maybe a minute before they break it down. If you're doing this, Tip, best do it now. But I still have to just... We're out of time. Right. Okay, help me cover it with powder. Wait, where's on Ambi? He was. He... I, I am sorry, Your Majesty. He got caught. A- and the sawhorse. Uh, an equine paradox, I'm afraid, dear boy. Choosing between ourselves or the horse. Well, then we have to go back. For the sawhorse? For Ombi. Tip, stop. We can't leave yet. We have to leave now, sir. Not without Ombi. He's right, Scarecrow. We don't have time. Are you done, Tip? Nearly. <sighs> okay. Guys, shut up while I do this. We are... Tiag... Pia. Look out for its wings! They're going! It, it worked, Dad! It worked! Yay for me! Right, um, all aboard before it flies away. I'm not getting on this contraption. It doesn't look remotely safe. Fine, try your luck with Mombi then. She'll probably turn you into a goulash, but... Goulash? Stewed and highly spiced. Well, you don't do fire, young man. Stop! We don't have Mombi! Scarecrow! I won't leave you behind. I'm not arguing with you, Scarecrow. Get your ass ah, oh. onto that couch! Whoa! All aboard, Tip! Gump, can you hear me? Great! Fly away! Fly! Fly! Oh no, you don't! Come back here! Now! Mommy, do something! Like what? 
guards, jump out after them! Use magic, zap them back! You know nothing of how magic works, girl! Well, that makes two of us! Enjoy your freedom while it lasts, Scarecrow! But I have your palace now! I have your Emerald City! I have your throne! I've won, and there's nothing you can do to stop me! Nothing! Nothing! Have you ever been flying before? You know I have. Well, before then I hadn't. Highest I'd been was the roof of Mombi's cottage. But here we were, uh, up in the sky, looking down on the Emerald City as the Gump swooped its way across the skyline. We clung to whatever we could to avoid falling out. The Gump was not designed with aerodynamics in mind. Whoa! 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 Hey! Beneath us, the streets gave way to fields and plains as we catapulted over the city walls. At top speed, we hurtled towards the horizon. There's a rogue coming loose over here! Tip, who taught you how to tie knots? I'm a witch's apprentice, not a fisherman. Can't you tie a knot? I cannot. You cannot? No, I cannot not. Not not? Who's there? Shut up, Jack. It's coming loose! It's coming loose! Shut up! Jack, grab the end and hold on tight. You got it? Hold on to the rope. Good boy. What happens if I let go? Then I hope the drop never bothered you anyway. I think I'm going to be killed. I told you to shut up. You're trusting a well be to a man with a fruit as a head, and I don't think I will shut up! Do you want to hold the rope? I'm going to try to lash it together. I'm sorry, I thought it would hold. It's okay, Can't be helped now. Scarecrow, are you still with us? It looks so small from here. What? The Emerald City. So small, so far away. Are you okay? No, I'm... No, I'm fine. We had to leave him, Your Majesty. No, no, don't call me that. I don't deserve that title. Don't be silly. What sort of king runs away from their city? What kind of king lets their city be invaded? A wise one. What sort of king would you be if you stayed and let Ginger capture you? She'd rip your head off in front of the people and her invasion would be complete. This way you have a chance to return and take control. The Emerald citizens deserve someone better than me. Stop it. They do! I'm the one who sent our troops to the bomb site when they should have been protecting the palace. I'm the one who was busy having a meeting with a pumpkin head instead of my official duties, whatever they were. You're the one who sent troops into Munchkinland, which started all this off in the first place. Wogglebug! It's the truth! See? I thought I was trying to help the Munchkins. But my road of good intentions led where such roads always lead. Ignore the bug. You gave the Munchkins plenty of time to get their acts together. Did they ever show signs of ending their war? No. Would you have rather taken the wizard's approach? Lock the gates and wait for them to kill each other off? They'd still be going. I wonder what the dead people of the bomb site would have rather that I'd do. All the people Ginger took prisoner? Or on Biambi? And there's one more thing that nobody's taken into consideration at all! Do you think flying through the air is like the spoiled pumpkins? What? I think that's very important! Not unless you carelessly drop your head over the side. And in that event, your head would no longer be a pumpkin. It would be a squash. Don't make me come over there. Go and sit in the corner, Jack. I am in the corner! I can't get further than the corner, Carl! Jack! People are suffering. It's because of me. Oz needs someone better than me to rot. I'm done. Scarecrow. Done. You can't just let Ginger take over. Why not? Who knows, she might be a better ruler than the wizard and I ever were. The wooden horse has escaped. Nobody seems to be able to stop it. No matter. I have plenty to occupy my attention right here. So, you served the Scarecrow King, then? Correct. And before that, you served the Wizard of Oz, yes? I am the Guardian of the Throne. And what does that mean, exactly? You fetch the tea or something? I attend to the Monarch's needs. Ah, then you shall attend to my needs, for I have declared myself Queen. (laughs) Of course you have. For a servant, you've got quite a mouth on you. The Scarecrow is the rightful King of Oz. A rightful King?! Oz hasn't had a rightful king in 20 years. The wizard took the throne by force, and the scarecrow after him. Well, in the absence of a legitimate heir... I am a legitimate heir. I carry the blood of Lurleen in my veins, just as King Pistoria did. I know your lineage, Ginger. We did our research on you and your family before we sent our troops to Munchkinland. And your claim is sketchy at best. Yes, technically you're a descendant of Lurleen, but you're on a very distant branch of the family tree. (sighs) Show me someone with a better claim, then. 
Unless you're going to be one of those Osmo will return to lead us to freedom nutters. Last year, the two most dangerous women in the country were killed within a week by a girl and her little dog too. I wouldn't rule anything out. I wouldn't have thought you'd be a believer of fairy tales, Ambie. Says the woman claiming to be a descendant of the fairy queen. Oh, nice one. Almost makes me regret doing this. What? Victon. Take Mr. Amby here to the cells and let him think about what sort of role he would like to have in this administration. As a cooperative member of my staff, or executed like a traitor? Yes, Your Majesty. Do what you like to me, Ginger. I'm still the guardian of the throne. I'll always support the true monarch of ours. The long night rolled on, as did the gump. We couldn't see where we were going, which was fine since we couldn't decide where we wanted to go anyway. We all agreed there was little point landing back in the city. We needed more help, which left us with two viable options. The Good Witch of the North or the Good Witch of the South? Lacasta and Glinda. Yes, thank you. I do know their names. Wait! I thought they were the same person! No, they're not. Keep up. I say we go south and speak with Glinda. Why? She's always seemed more powerful. She sent Dorothy home, remember? Technically, that was the shoes. Which is more than Lacasta told her. And let's face it, we spent weeks walking around Oz last year and we only got things sorted once we went to Glinda. This time, let's go straight to the top. Or to the bottom. What? You know, because we're going south, which is on the bottom of the map, so we're going straight to the bottom. Don't make me hurt you. Then it's settled then. Gump, take us south to Quadling Country. (laughs) Sorry guys, um... Next gump I build, I'll improve the steering, I promise. Are we even going the right way? Sun's finally coming up. We should be able to see where we are by now. We're lost! We are? Yes! We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. We're slap bang in the middle of the deadly desert. Sand in every direction. We flew too far. We're out of Oz completely! Oh great. You need to land! No! If you touch the sand on the deadly desert, you instantly crumble into dust. Landing is very much the last thing we should do. It'd be the last thing we would do. We need to turn around. Gump! Can you still hear me? Turn around. Turn as quickly as you can. Whoa! Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Definitely going to be sick. Don't be sick on me. Will both of you shut up? Wait, what's that? You shut up too. No, look over there. Oh no. Gump, look out! So when I said sand in every direction, I hadn't been paying attention. I didn't see the mountain range behind us, which now the Gump had pulled a U-turn was coming up fast in front of us. Pull up! Pull up! Everyone, hold on! Ah! So you crashed? We crashed hard. Oh, hello? Hello? Is, is anyone there? The gump broke apart on impact. The rest of us were scattered about the cliff face, feeling the worst for wear. What's happening? I can't see. Everything's gone black. I'm blind. That's because your head is face down on my stomach, Jack Pumpkinhead. I'm blind. Oh, shut up. Scarecrow, is that you? Yep. You okay? I'm trapped under a pumpkin. And I'm blind. You're an idiot. Thank you. Tip, are you okay? I'm right behind you, Your Grace. You're not Tip. You're the Wogglebug. And I'm fine all the same. Tip, has anyone seen Tip? Dad, Daddy! I'm here. I'm under the couch. Well, that was careless of you. Here, let me lift it up. (sighs) Thanks. Careful, don't stand too close to the edge. It's a very long way down. Sure is. Um, Anyone got any ideas on where we are? Well, as I am thoroughly educated, as per my title, I can ascertain from the evidence before us. Uh, twigs and branches arranged in a circular fashion, a collection of glittery objects, and four giant spotted eggs over there that uh, we are indeed in a nest. No kidding. Specifically, the nest of the jackdaw. Probably more than one. They travel in packs, which is unusual for birds of prey. I have done extensive research on the subject, given that they're the natural predator for your average size wogglebug. What's a jackdaw? A giant bird. Right. Okay, next question. Yes? Can anyone find my body? Please? All right. Okay, let's see what we can... Whoa! Hey, I told you to watch out for the edge. With an infinite drop down the side. It's not infinite. Well, it might as well be. And with the flying machine in pieces, this is a worse prison than the palace. I wish we'd stayed there. I'll bet the mountain air isn't good for pumpkins. Well, it won't be when the jackdaws come back. Jackdaws are especially fond of pumpkins. What did the wogglebug say? Wogglebug, stop it! Jack, I found your body. Do you think the birds will come back here, Dad? Probably. It's their nest. Then we have to get away from here. We have to get you back together first. Not to mention get the gump back together. Scarecrow, are you sure you're okay? 
You've never been this quiet. I'm fine, just waiting for this pumpkin to get off me. Let me help you up then. Oh no! They're here! Don't let them in my head, Dad! I won't, Jack. Calm down. They're not going to be happy with any of us. We've defiled their nest. Great, so how do we get out of this? Well, I... Come on, you're the highly educated one, aren't you? So you keep telling us, what do we do? We... we... Well, we defer to someone with better brains than I possess. Your Majesty. What? Didn't the wonderful Wizard of Oz give you extra sharp brains? That's debatable. Well, someone has to do something soon. I don't want the birds to eat me. All right, I have an idea. Uh Uh-oh. Shut up and start unstuffing me. I beg your pardon. Get out all my straw and start piling it up. Tip, put Jack's head down the bottom of the nest. You and the Wogglebug lie down next to it. Hurry. What about you? Tim Woodman, you cover the two of them with my straw. Use all of it. Spread it around. Pull me to pieces. Again? Exactly. Won't that hurt you? Not if we leave his head intact. You're right, Scarecrow. This will work. Everyone lie down, and I'll hide you with the straw. Then you can defend us all. Not sure how I'm going to manage that without my axe. The Tid Woodman worked quickly, covering us with the Scarecrow's innards as we lay down at the bottom of the nest. We made ourselves as small as we could. I clung to Jack's head tight. If only I could stop him carrying on. Daddy, I'm frightened. I know, Jack. What? Really? I'm frightened? I'm not going to let them eat you. I'd let them eat you either, Dad. I won't be able to make it. Because without you... And then the jackdaws came. <laughs> they swooped down with screeches of rage, angered that we'd invaded their space. <laughs> I listened as their beaks crashed against the tin of the Tin Woodman as they tried to peck him apart. Not so easy to eat now, am I? Didn't work. (laughs) Grabbing one of the remaining palms from the wrecked gum, the Tin Woodman swung at the giant birds, driving them away from the nest. (laughs) The battle seemed to go on for ages. All the time I kept my eyes tightly shut, praying to whoever might listen that we wouldn't be eaten. I've come too far to be pecked apart by giant birds now. But eventually the birds retreated. I guess they realised they weren't going to get anywhere with this man of tin and his get giant away. branch. Fly! Go! Uh. When I realised I couldn't hear their screeches anymore, I opened my eyes. Did we die, Dad? I don't think so. It's okay. They're gone. I don't think they'll be back. Well, unless they've gone for reinforcements. Will you stop talking, please? Does that mean we can put my head back on my body then? We can, and then we'll... Wait a minute. Where did all the straw go? Well, I... Oh, no. What? Where did it all go? I guess it blew over the cliff with all the birds flapping and the palm leaf. Scarecrow, I'm so sorry. It's okay. But now you're just ahead. We can form a club. Really, it's okay. I did it to save my friends. I'm glad I perished in such a noble and unselfish manner. You're not perishing. We've still got your clothes. You can be restuffed. With what? With whatever we can find. You're not finished yet, my friend. Oh, yes, I am. You just don't realise it yet. Stop it. But first things first. We need to get off this mountain. Let's see. I think we've still got most of the gum pieces here. There's the other palm. We've still got the couches. You're going to reassemble that contraption? Has anyone seen its head? It's over there. Bring it over here. I think we can probably even improve on the assembly, if that's okay with you two. You're hilarious, really. You try building something like this with the time and resources I had. Kind of like building a raft out of virtually nothing to cross the Munchkin River, then. Let me show you how the old pros do this. Alright, it's okay. Let out the screams, they help. Stop! Please. You can make all this go away, you know. The pain will stop, I promise. You'll be able to go lie down somewhere and nobody will disturb you. Nobody will hurt you. No, no. You just have to answer my question, zombie. And truthfully this time, where is the scarecrow gone? Where has he taken Mombi's apprentice? Uh, uh. Still not talking. I thought we were coming to an understanding, Ombi. I thought we were becoming friends. Go to hell. Well, that's just rude. Can you blame him? Mombi, either help or shut up. I'm busy. You're wasting your time. Stop saying that. You're trying to get answers out of him. That's not going to work. Eventually, you'll just kill him and then you'll need a new guardian of the throne. Although, if you're doing this just for fun, then 
Don't let me stop you. Forget I spoke. What would you recommend instead? Make use of the witch you've got on staff to work a spell. <sighs> Great. Another illusion. For situations such as this, an illusion is really all you need. No. What are you doing? Shut up and let me feel your scalp. There. <laughs> You're reading his mind? There's a lot of crap in here. It's all reports, red tape, bureaucratic copy cop. A civil servant through and through. Does he know where they went? I don't think so. Think? Be sure, witch! This isn't a science! It's an art! Stop bugging me, girl! He hasn't got anything in there. I'm pretty sure even they didn't know where they were going and they left. What, is there a hint? But if he had to guess... His mind reading, not speculation, Uh, and his mind is full of details, things about the city. It's operational blueprint. Well, that's something, at least. Find out what he knows regarding the city's defences. Yeah. Hasn't got any. Uh, You've just proven that. Then... Find out how we can protect the city from further attack. Scarecrow must have gone somewhere. It must have been for reinforcements. I'm looking! Pipe ah. down! Ah. The city ah. can be protected by sealing the gates. They can't cross the wall. That doesn't help. They're still inside the gates. What about the palace? Oh, get on with it. He knows something about... Ah. About... Ah. The fountain. Ah. Oh... Oblivion? You've broken his brain. He wants a drink. Wait. Fountain of Oblivion. That's what I said. It exists? He's trying Uh, to resist. Push harder. I need to know. Tell me where we can find the Fountain of Oblivion. Ah! Ah! We'd been flying for a while before somebody realised that we had no real idea of how to get back to Oz, let alone Glinda's palace in the Quadlin country. Below us there was still just sand, but at least in the daylight we could navigate a bit. And after a lot of arguing, and any conversation with the Wogglebug involved tends to lead to arguing, we agreed we were travelling more or less south when we left the Emerald City, meaning we should travel more or less north to get back. And so we travelled, and we couldn't help but notice that the Scarecrow, what was left here, very quiet. You had better not still be sulking. I'm fine. Keep going. We're going to get your city back. Glinda will help us. I don't think he's fine, Tim Woodman. Scarecrow, can you look at me? He's ahead. He doesn't look very happy. His face isn't as animated as it was. I'm fine. How long can you survive in a disassembled state? I'm not sure. It's only happened once, and I was disassembled myself at the time. The winged monkeys pulled him apart. And about a week later, Dorothy put him back together. He was conscious the whole time. Not as such. He was basically dead. But he was fine once he was reassembled. We even had a long chat while he was ahead on the table. I don't think he's doing fine. I think he needs medical help. Medical help? He's a scarecrow! And I think that's all he will be if he doesn't get restuffed soon. Look at him. He's looking more and more like straw and rags every minute. Then what do you suggest we do? Get him to Glinda as soon as possible. Or a farm. Basically anywhere that can get him stuffed with fresh straw. Otherwise, I think we're going to lose him. Tip, I think we are losing him. I looked into the Scarecrow's face. It was like I could see the light draining from his eyes. There was a sadness there. Something deep, something we couldn't... I had to do something. You're right. He's not going to make it to Glinda's. What are you doing? The powder of life. It is sustaining, I think. No! It brings inanimate objects to life. Maybe it'll do the same to him. Stop! But he's already alive. Barely. Barely. But he's still in there. How do you know this will do anything? I don't. But it's the only thing I can think of. Please, stop. Let me just go. Stop that. We're saving you. I don't want to hear it. Tip, do what you have to do. Bring him back. This will use up the last of the powder. Then you should stop. Shut up, Scarecrow. You're not getting a say in this. I cast the spell and hoped for the best. We all did. And the powder of life seemed to sustain the Scarecrow. At least he wasn't getting worse. The gump flew on, and eventually the deadly desert gave way to to grass, then buildings, and the Wogglebug stated with confidence we were somewhere over Munchkinland. From there we could move west and navigate our way to Quadling Country. Quickly, everyone! Quickly! Bring the gurney over here! We're needed! Locasta! Good Witch of the North at your service. North? I thought we were going to the south. Jack, Have you got the king? He's right here. He needs Orderies, to be... attend to his majesty. 
keep his remains together. It will sustain him longer. He's lost a lot of straw. There was an incident with the jackdaw nest. I know. Linda foresaw your arrival. Go with the orderlies, your grace. He doesn't have much time. Hold on, Scarecrow. You're almost there. Wait, what about us? We want to look after the Scarecrow too. Glinda will make sure His Majesty the Scarecrow receives the greatest of care. In the meantime, the three of you must come with me. Where are you taking us? All that will be explained in due course. Please, follow me. Allow me to show you to the palace of Glinda the Good. I presume you are Tip and Jack Pumpkinhead. Uh, that's right, Your Majesty. Uh, your, your Grace. <laughs> Uh, Call me Lacosta. Right. Uh, and this is the... Oh, the Wogglebug and I are acquaintances of old. Oh, indeed, my lovely lady. Are uh, you really a witch? As a resident of Gilkin, Jack Pumpkinhead, I am actually your witch. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Jack, don't be an idiot. Well, Molly's a bad witch, and I've only ever met her, so I I must say I'm surprised to find you here in the Quadling Palace. With events such as they are in ours... I felt my presence in Munchkinland served little to the greater good. So I came to Glinda for her perspective. And we came for her help. And I am sure she will give it. I'm really concerned about the king. I think we'd all be... Tip, Glinda has asked that you be brought to her the moment you arrive. Jack, Wogglebug, please wait in here. Tip, follow me. There you are. Welcome back. What happened? You nearly died, that's what happened. And I didn't even believe that was possible. Glinda's servants have stocked you with the finest straw. So you should be perfectly healthy again. I see. Good. You do feel better, right? Oh, yes. Good. That means I'm perfectly justified doing this. Ow! What was that crap about letting you die back there on the gump? Seriously? I really hurt, Tin Woodman. Talk to me. I'm going to get a bruise. No, you're not. You're made of straw. I'd have ripped the lining. Scarecrow. I... I don't know. You don't know? No. Do you want to die? No! Well, well, I don't think I do. Oh, it's all confusing. Leave me alone. Because I'm pretty sure that's why you were struggling back there in the gump. You can survive being unstuffed. We both know that. As long as you want to survive. Is it because of Ginger? She's a bitch. You would have invaded the Emerald City anyway. It's not about Ginger. It's about me. I'm a terrible king. Didn't we go over this already? I tried my best to be king. I really did. I did what my advisors told me. I waved at the people, gave speeches. I even tried to do good things and stop the fighting in Munchkinland. But I'm not a wonderful ruler. I'm not marvellous. I'm barely even competent. Every decision I made since I took over has led us to the invasion. And as soon as I was in personal danger, I ran. I shouldn't be king. And if I'm not a king, then what's the point of me? I may as well be scattered to the wind from the edge of a jackdaw's nest. That's all I'm good for. I mean, what else can I do? I can't believe you're asking that. Like your choice is king or nothing. You're the scarecrow. You're the silliest, funniest, brainiest scarecrow in all of Oz. <laughs> Silly, great. So being a king isn't going so well. We'll fix that. We're at Glinda's now. She'll kick out Ginger and Momby and give you back your throne before dinner. What if I don't want it back? Then we'll give it to someone else. Look, if you don't want to be king anymore, I can respect that. I think you're good at it, but that's beside the point. But don't for a moment think that's all you have to offer. When we first met, you weren't a king. It wasn't a king that Dorothy took with her down the yellow brick road, that saved the lion from the poppy fields, that stood up to the colliders and beat away the witch's ravens. That was you. Just you. Still the silliest, funniest, brainiest scarecrow in all of Oz. Even Ginger can't take that away from you. I guess. And you're right. We finally made Deglinda. Maybe our luck is finally on its way up, with the Good Witch of the South to help us. Hello? The, the Witch of the North said I should just go in. Welcome, Tipitarius. Please, have a seat. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh... Call me Tip, please. As you wish. You may call me Glinda. You're Glinda? That's right. Come in, don't be shy. I wanted to speak with you. I'm nobody important. <laughs> Trust me. That remains to be seen. You've come a long way. Please, take a seat. How's the Scarecrow? Is he okay? He will be. I've had him taken to be repaired and restuffed. The Tin Woodman is with him now. Will he be alright, though? He was looking a bit rough. I have the greatest confidence that he'll recover, given time. Well, good. 
because he's come here for your help. What did the Tin Woodman tell you about? About General Ginger and the Munchkin invaders? Mm. I'm aware. This is a terrible time for the Emerald City. For everyone, really. Uh, which is why we need your help. In due time. But for the moment, I wanted to have a chat with you. Me? Why? I'm curious. Tell me about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. Um, I'm a witch's apprentice. I live in Gillikin. With Mombi? Yes. Look, when I said I live, I, I mean I lived there. I ran away from Mombi long before all It's this... okay, Tip. I don't for a moment believe you're in league with her any longer. Good. Because I'm not. I, I ran away uh, with Jack uh, when she was threatening to turn me into a marble statue. That's how I got caught up in all this. Why was Mombi trying to turn you into a statue? I... I, I don't know. Mombi does stuff like that sometimes. Turns people into statues? Or other things. <laughs> She's good at transformation spells. How long have you lived with Mombi? All my life. And it's always been the two of you? Nobody else? Nobody I remember. I, I mean, she, she had friends, I guess. Uh, magicians and wizards. But... Other children? No. Does the name Ozma mean anything to you? No. At all? I, th I think, um... Isn't, isn't there a story about an Ozma? Uh, a, a lost princess or something. What do you remember? Not much. She disappeared or something. I think she was a baby. Ozma was the only child of Pastoria, King of the Emerald City and the Greater Realms of Oz. She was heir to the throne and would have ruled Oz when her father died. Over 20 years ago now. That's right. And then when the king died, she was murdered. She disappeared and her name passed into legend. Some say she was slaughtered in her crib and her limbs scattered to the four corners of Oz. Others say she was magically frozen behind a wall of ice in a cave in the Gillikin Mountains and will return at a time of Oz's greatest need. Right. Sorry, this is a nice story and everything, but what does a dead baby have to do with me? Oh, she's not dead. I've been looking into this for some time, and I can honestly assure you that the princess wasn't killed. She's alive, and she's in Oz. It's merely a question of finding her. Okay. But, but what does this have to do with me? Like I said, I've been investigating this for some time. And since the wizard left Oz, so much more information has come to light. You know where she is? No, but I know who took her. Mombi. Yes. Which is why I need you to think back. You've known Mombi the longest. You've lived in her house. Has she ever said anything? Given you any idea? I... Um, well, look, all this happened before I was born, and she didn't exactly tell me her darkest secrets. It was more like, get this, get that, stop burning my toast. Are you sure? Anything you might know may be a help. I'm sorry. It's all right. I had hoped I would not need to get involved, but I suspect there's no other option now. Well, exactly. We came here to ask for your help in, re in reclaiming the Emerald City from the Munchkins. And Mombi's there now helping Ginger. I'm aware. And once and once you put the Scarecrow back on the throne... We'll Tip, you don't understand. I can't put the Scarecrow back on the throne. Why? Because of Ozma. Yes. If Ozma lives, then the Scarecrow has no right to rule Oz. And I will be forced to oppose anyone who attempts to return him to power. Marvelous Land of Oz, written and directed by Aaron Toman, based on the book by L. Frank Baum. Starring Matt Phillips as Tip, Mark Porter as Jack Pumpkinhead, Aaron Toman as the Scarecrow, Scobie Parker as the Tin Woodman, John Jennings as the Wogglebug, and Kirsten Page, with David Nagel as Zombie Ambie, 
Jenny Mick as Ginger, Lucas Thomas as Victor, Lauren Tice as Mombi, Jennifer Ali as LaCasta, and Wendy Robinson as Glinda. Other roles played by members of the cast. Australian sound recording by Daniel Burnett. Sound designed by David Nagel and Aaron Toman. Music by Tony Diana. This has been a Crossover Adventure Production.